In this YouTube tutorial, I'll show you how to stream locally from OBS to VLC Media Player. This method works completely offline and is great for previewing your stream or displaying your stream on a second screen or to get cool visual feedback. I'll be using OBS and VLC Media Player, but I'm sure this method would work across applications or workflows as well. It uses something called UCP, which essentially acts as a local host for your stream that you can tune into from anywhere on your computer. Starting in OBS, we'll head to settings down here. And on the left panel, you'll want to go down to output. Now, although this is technically streaming locally, it's activated by recording. So you'll want to then go into the recording settings and make sure the output mode is set to advanced. That'll give you extra settings and you'll see your recording tab. Click on that. And the first thing you'll want to change is the type from standard to custom output. FFmpeg. Okay, then we can change the FFmpeg output type. By default, it'll be set to output to file. We'll want to change that to output to URL. Now you can go ahead and uh, put this exact link in the URL section here. This is the UDP local URL that you'll be connecting to later. For the container format, you're going to want to select MPEGTS. It's down kind of on this really long list. That's really the only one that would work for this. Then you can ignore the Muxer settings. I think you could put things here if you want to get more technical with it. Then you can adjust your video bit rate. You can ignore what I have here because I think this is set quite low. I'd recommend somewhere between 15,000 to 50,000, I think. You can ignore the keyframe interval. I think it's 250 by default. Unless you want to, you don't have to rescale your output. And for the video encoder, you're going to want to put MPEG to video. I think that's the default one. And audio bit rate, you can adjust this. I've got mine set to 160 kilobytes per second. And for the audio encoder, I have MP2. I think that's the default one. And that's about it for the recording settings. And I forgot to mention, you're just going to want to copy this URL now before you proceed. And you can go ahead and click start recording. Okay, now we can open VLC and go up to the media tab and then networks, open network stream. In the network tab, you're going to want to paste the URL that we put into OBS. And you're going to want to make sure to add a at symbol after the two slashes and before the numbers start. So right here. And then under show more options, you can change the caching variable. Now this will uh, adjust the, the delay between the OBS screen capture and the VLC screen. So right now it's set to one second. I think that's fine for me, but you can adjust this however you'd like. And then you can go ahead and click play. It'll load for a second. And then it'll be displaying your OBS screen. There we go. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful. As you can see, VLC is showing you my OBS screen down there in the bottom right. Something I like to do with this is because you can have VLC open full screen with no controls, you can get some pretty crazy visuals with some feedback. The cool thing about this system is it also captures sound. So you can hear it looping and you can get some weird looping effects like that. And this is also helpful if you want to screencast your screen, but with some extra controls from your OBS scene. So rather than showing you the whole screen, you'll only show people what you want them to see. Anyway. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and subscribe if you thought it was and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want any more tutorials and thanks guys.
people are repeated, 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 people are repeated,